I'm the against the free press. I'm against the free press, and I'm waiting. I'm the Augusta Free Press, and I'm designing. I'm never too busy for the Augusta Free Press. Hello. Reporting for the Augusta Free Press, I'm Chris Grant. Governor Tim Kaine and members of his cabinet getting a warm welcome today in Stanton and Augusta County, touring the area to learn more about things going on here locally. Woodrow Wilson Rehab Center, one of his stops. Harsh fiscal reality overhanging the visit, though, as uh, state revenue is drying up, jobs being cut here locally in state government agencies, and it's, it's a tough time right now to be governor. Chris, it's not clear. The, the, um, every time we've... Uh, we, the way we do revenue projections is I bring economists, and industry leaders and legislators of both parties together and we do projections and so all the projections we've done have been consensus projections but the last projection meeting we had which was in mid-September was the first one I've had where people didn't agree everyone before everybody said yeah here's our consensus that was easy the one in September though people didn't agree some some were pessimistic and some were real pessimistic and that is just an indication of the fact that there's still a lot of uncertainty um, the aftermath of the bailout package it is still unclear how you know what is the parachute really going to open or do we got to do or do we have to do a second set of stimulus i think the conventional wisdom is you probably have to have a second set of stimulus actions at the federal government uh, to get the economy kind of stabilized and hopefully start growing again so you know we just have to be you know conservative on our assumptions and and uh, and and look at the data um, before i speak to the legislature i will have the benefit for example of the thanksgiving weekend which is a big shopping weekend and i'll know how how christmas sales are likely to look based on what we see with that so we're just watching the data as we go but um, we we went back into the market for a bond issuance uh, early this week and all three agencies reaffirmed the state's AAA bond rating and they gave us high marks they said look compared to other states you guys have addressed this and you're making hard decisions right away not letting it you know slide till later so you know it's not an easy time but we know what we're doing the governor taking time to meet with local leaders one local leader Bruce Elder a member of Stanton City Council and president the governor would put into his schedule time to do these kind of things and knows he'll be able to take something back with him to Richmond I know that he'll take away uh, memories that won't, won't fade easily when it comes to things like the Blackfriars and the Woodrow Wilson Presidential Library, these are absolutely vital to the economic health of Stanton. Some $41 million every year, Chris, uh, come from tourism. And we have shown that these two facilities, just those alone, are extraordinarily important to our economy. The governor also hearing details of a project to rehab the old R.E. Lee High School near Gypsy Hill Park, impressed with what the city is doing to take advantage of what it has to offer. But if you uh, renovate existing buildings, the, the infrastructure is all already there. So it's, uh, it's uh, cost efficient and it's also helps stop sprawl if you can use existing infrastructure. So this was something that I worked very hard on when I was mayor of Richmond to try to do a lot of rehab projects in Stanton. It's just doing a first-rate job, so I'm happy to be here to learn a little bit about this project. For more on the governor's visit, go to AugustaFreePress.com, the new look AugustaFreePress.com. Reporting for the Augusta Free Press, I'm Chris Graham.